What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Muay Thai's Hidden Secrets by Thai Fight. I'm your host Punta Gon or Pithanat Pung and today we continue on our search for more knowledge on Thailand's national treasure and one of the world's most iconic martial arts forms, Muay Thai. So after several episodes that included talking about the moves of Muay Thai and the graceful art form that is the Y crew, I think it's about high time we discussed something else. Today, I felt like talking about something, talking about something more, you know, stylish. Belgian fashion designer Diane von Furstenberg said, Style is something each of us already has. All we need to do is find it. I know, I know, this isn't a fashion channel, but I still found this to be very applicable to Muay Thai. Why do I say this? Because every Muay Thai fighter has their own style. It just takes some time to develop. Muay Thai itself consists of different styles. In the art of eight limbs, we get to see which limb a fighter heavily relies upon. After all, there are eight weapons to choose from. So what is their weapon of choice? Hence, we have the styles of contemporary Muay Thai. For Muay Thai fighters, their style usually depends upon their physical build. But first, before we dig into the specific styles, we must first start on the surface. In combat sports, it's almost always a must to have an offensive side and a defensive side. The same goes with Muay Thai. The fighter whose style is geared towards offense is called the Muay Bo. This guy is about initiating the attack and starting the fight. He's confident about his weapons, fists, elbows, knees and kicks. In the end of the corner, you will have the fighter who relies on defense. His style is called Muay Rap, while he will also be looking to protect himself against his opponent's attacks, whether through the guard or through evading. The Muay Rap style fighter can also retaliate via counterattacks, like counter punching or kicks when his opponent goes off balance. This guy is mainly about timing, so there you have it the fundamental styles of Muay Thai, but we've only just begun. Next, we dig a little deeper into the distinct styles of Muay Thai that you will see in modern competition. There are five styles in total. Muay Mat. The Muay Mat style emphasizes heavy hands, so Muay Mat fighters often pack quite the punch. Aside from the fists, these guys have a deadly low kick. Now in my opinion, Muay Mat is perhaps the most entertaining style of Muay Thai there is. Now in a sport where kicks often dominate the terrain, it's nice to see fighters employ the seldom used punch. It's even better when you see fighters who rely on the punch. These guys tend to hunt for a knockout as opposed to fighters who go the entirety of the fight and let it go to the scorecards. It's kind of boring in my opinion. Muay Mat fighters are the type of guys who you see turn to professional boxing. Those Thai professional boxers you may have seen, chances are their style was Muay Mat. Most foreign fighters in Muay Thai, especially Westerners, are also of the Muay Mat style. Now, people facing Muay Mat fighters might want to avoid trading punches because one punch they could find themselves on the ground. These guys are brutal. Muay Sol. This is a fighter who knows how to make use of perhaps Muay Thai's most dangerous point of attack, the oh so lethal elbow. At times during a fight, the Muay Sok fighter is able to turn himself into a walking human weapon, slicing up his opponents and soaking them in their own blood with his razor sharp elbows. 
One of Thai Fight's most prominent Muay Thai fighters is none other than the rising star, Geet Beat Sajjad Dan Rayong, who's knocked out man after man with his blade-like elbows. I'm telling you, no fighter in their right mind would want to get into close range with Geet Beat. Once he breaks out his unnaturally sharp elbows, it can only spell trouble and possibly a headache, possibly the end for them. Muay Thai. I suppose this is the fighting style that most Muay Thai fighters rely on. But then again, I'm just purely speculating. But then again, kicking does make up a huge part of Muay Thai. As a result, the Muay Thai fighter's weapon of choice, perhaps also his most dangerous weapon, is his kick. Some of you may have heard about Muay Thai fighters training since they were as young as seven years old, kicking banana trees instead of heavy bags. Well, Muay Thai fighters are those guys who perfected kicking those trees and developed superhuman-like legs. These guys often use their kicks like battering rams to wear down their opponents. They'll use roundhouse kicks to their opponent's head, body, arms, and legs until their opponents are completely worn out. It's about accumulating damage for the Muay Thai fighters. And if they kick hard enough, one kick one shot is all it takes to knock out their opponent. Beware the Muay Thai. Muay Khao. Now this is considered to be one of the most devastating styles in Muay Thai. The Muay Khao is essentially a knee fighter. For some fighters, facing a Muay Khao fighter can actually be a terrifying prospect, especially if the fighter is highly skilled in their craft. Muay Khao fighters will attempt to clinch up with their opponent and look to land the knees from inside the clinch. And that's because the clinch is where the knee strikes are most effective and most deadly. But while they prioritize their knees as their primary weapon, these fighters are also competent with their fists and elbows from close range. Now one of the Muay Khao fighters most distinguishing features are their tall stature and their long limbs. Muay Fi Mu. Any fighter labeled as a Muay Fi Mu may as well be called a grandmaster of Muay Thai. It is considered to be the most difficult style to master. The Muay Fi Mu fighter is more about technique, skill. He's capable of turning Muay Thai into something of an art form. As opposed to brute strength and aggression, he utilizes all the weapons. I'm talking all eight points of contact with great precision and cerebral technique. If I may say so myself, 
the Muay Fi Mu is perhaps the smartest of all styles of Muay Thai mentioned here. Because this is a guy who's more or less mastered all the basic styles and learned how to combine them into the ultimate plethora of Muay Thai weaponry. Muay Fi Mu fighters know when to advance, when to retreat, and how to adapt to their opponent's styles and even use it against them. Here at Thai Fight, I would proudly say that we are blessed to have the ultimate living legend and Muay Fi Mu fighter, San Chai, PK San Chai Muay Thai Jim. ดูครับโอ้เจ้าเล่ห์มากครับลูกนี้รู้ว่าอะไรครับOf course, even Superman had kryptonite, and every Muay Thai style has its weakness, each of which can be exploited. So next, we're gonna talk about the battle of the styles. Muay Mat versus Muay Thai. The Muay Mat fighter will lose against Muay Thai. This is because it all comes down to the battle of reaches. The leg has a longer reach the arm. Thus the leg will find its mark before the fist does. This is mainly the case for long range combat in Muay Thai. Muay Thai versus Muay Khao. The Muay Thai fighter finds himself at a disadvantage against the Muay Khao fighter and will often lose because Muay Thai fighters often fight from long range while Muay Khao fighters often fight from close quarters or even in the clinch. Once a Muay Thai fighter is caught in the clinch, his kicks are immediately rendered useless, and he will also be prone to some devastating knee strikes. Muay Khao versus Muay Saw. The Muay Khao fighter will most likely lose against the Muay Saw fighter. Were these two types of fighters ever to face each other, it is guaranteed to be a close quarters battle or one from the clinch. If the Muay Khao fighter wants to have the advantage, he must hold his opponent down by the back of the neck, press him down, and throw those knees. But before he can even do all that, his face is left exposed, allowing for the Muay Saw fighter to throw his slicing elbows. Muay Saw versus Muay Mat. The Muay Saw fighter will most likely lose to the Muay Mat fighter. If these two styles clashed, it would be a long-ranged battle. Here, the entire arm will have more of a reach advantage than the elbow itself. To use his elbows effectively, the Muay Sok fighter has to quickly approach his opponent in close range, but before he can even get into optimal range, he's likely to get hit by one of his opponent's devastating punches and most likely will get dropped. So that's all for the styles of Muay Thai. For those of you unfamiliar with Muay Thai, which style was your favorite? And for those of you who are familiar with Muay Thai or practice Muay Thai, which style of Muay Thai are you? Are you a Muay Mat? Are you a Muay Sa? Or are you a Muay Te? Or a Muay Khao? Or a Muay Fi Mu? Let us know in the comments down below. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Muay Thai's Hidden Secrets by Thai Fight. I'm your host, Punta Khan Rupi Patanat Pong. And until then, have a wonderful day. If you liked this video, be sure to smash that like button down below. For more videos like this, subscribe to our channel, Thai Fight Official, and don't forget to click on the bell button so you know when we've uploaded a new video. You can also like our official Facebook page, that's Thai Fight King of Muay Thai, and you can also follow us on Instagram. Links will be provided in the description box down below.